All right. Welcome everybody. How are you guys doing today? Awesome. I see, I see you faces. It's good to see you all and welcome to World Languages and Culture. Um, we're going to post, um, I know you guys are ready and um, we are, Ms. Mercer, if you could share that screen with the recipe. Um, we are going to be in the United, we're here in the United States of America. And, um, and so we travel to so many places, right? And so I wanted us to um, be right here um, in the U.S., because there's so many, um, there's so many um, awesome things right here in the U.S. that you all get to experience. And so today we are making a stuffed hamburger um, or a black bean burger with onion rings from scratch. Ooh, it's gonna be good. And um, uh, want to just. Um, get some feedback from you all because as we're here in the United States, um, what do you guys know about, like here we live in California, right? And California is one of our 50 states. Um, but what do you guys know about the United States? What facts do you guys know? Anything. <laughs> Feel free, unmute yourself. Um, that the United States ha has um, many different races here? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We are a melting pot of so many um, cultures and nationalities. And that's what makes um, the United States really, really awesome. Anything else? That's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good detail there. Anybody else want to share? What else do we know about the United States? Anything? Nothing? Nobody else wants to share? Um, the, the, the United mm -hmm. States is divided into regions. Yes, I know I kind of said it already, but how many states do we have? 50. Come on, we've got 50 states. Uh, what is our official language? Um, English. Yes. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Old history. Yes, there's lots of history here, Natalie. Wonderful, wonderful. Awesome. Um, anything else? Anything else? That anybody? What about California? We live in this. In we live in the state of California. What is our capital um, here in California? Um, it's Sacramento. Come on, Sacramento. Awesome, awesome. What is the um? What is the ocean that we have along our coastline? Um, the Pacific Ocean. That's absolutely right. We have the Pacific Ocean. Yes. Washington, Natalie, that's a great Washington, D.C. is our nation's capital, right? For the nation, for the United States of America and for the um, and for California, it is Sacramento. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I wanted um as we travel to all these different countries, um, one thing I want you all to um, know about the United States that's really cool is that um, as you travel to different to different states within the United States, there are um, different dialects. If you travel to the South, you know they, they have a drawl. They may talk a little bit like this and that kind of stuff, right? I don't know. If, does anybody have any family from another state? Yeah, where's you, where are you guys' family from? I'm from Texas and Iowa. 
Yes, that's awesome. So we got Texas, we got Iowa. Um, okay, anybody else have um, family maybe um, in another state or maybe like you have family that lives in another state, even if you're from someplace else? Yes, Natalie, I see your hand. Go for it. Oh, unmute yourself, unmute yourself. Arizona and Oregon. Wonderful, that's awesome. And those are awesome states, you guys. So many cool things that you can do in the United States of America. If you go to New York, they're gonna talk like, talk to you like New York. They're gonna be like New York, New Jersey. You know, they're gonna have a dialect, right? Versus us in California, we're out here like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> we have our, our way of speaking out here, right? So as you travel to different states in the United States, um, you know, you may go on a road trip, you may fly on your plane, there's so many awesome cultures and um, uh, different ways of living, even throughout the United States. But let's bring it even closer to home because we're here in California. California is pretty cool, okay? There's no place that you can go in one day, go see some snow, go to the desert, go to the beach, go to the valley, all in one day. We could do that. And that's what makes this really cool. And I know in um, a couple of weeks, we have spring break, like in two weeks, right? And so I wanted to show you guys some cool places that you can go. I know right now gas prices are high, right? Yeah. So you're probably like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about, but maybe traveling or something like that. But there's so many cool things that you can do right here in LA that will like blow your mind. That's amazing. So I wanted to share some of those things with you. So over spring break, you can't be, you don't be like, hmm, I don't have anything to do. There's so much you can do. So much you can do. So I want you to have an adventure. And um, I'm going to share my screen here with all these awesome places that you can go and check out on your spring break. So let's look at them really quick because we gonna start cooking um, this awesome burger, right? So we've got 72 fun things to do in Los Angeles, California. And if you've been to one, if you've been to this place, I want you to be like, I've been there. I've been there, right? Or I want to go back there, right? I've had some places that I've gone. And I'm like, oh, I need to come back and take some more time to just like absorb it, right? So we've got the Getty Center, and this is an awesome museum that is gorgeous. Look at, they have this beautiful like fountain with water and they have a museum with all the awesome stuff there. Have you guys ever been to the Getty? Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay. Then there's also the Los Angeles um, County Museum of Art. And so has anybody ever been there? They also call it Lock. No, oh my God, goodness, it's so good. Even like great pictures, like photo opportunity right there where they have all those um, lights, perfect pictures, right? Um, but the museum is really, really awesome. Okay, we got some more places. The Hollywood Bowl, concerts, um, different performances are at the Hollywood Bowl. You guys check it out, see their schedule, see their calendar and check out these awesome cool performances. Even as things are opening back up, one, we wanna make sure we're being safe, but two, have fun you guys. Like these, they have, I know um, in some of these places they have little sectionals too. So you're like glass, like you and your friend in your own little special like cocoon almost, right? While you're there. So um, so still be safe, wear your mask, but feel free to get out and have a new experience at some of these different places. All right, we've also got the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Have you ever been there? Don't you? All these cool places, cool places in LA. Come on now, don't miss out. The Broad, another cool place. That's in, this is, these are in downtown LA downtown LA. And so some of these are our museums, right? What about the Chinese theater? That's on Hollywood Boulevard. Have you ever been there? Ah, okay. And right across the street, they have, oh my gosh. Um, oh, I'm going to murder the name. <laughs> the El Capitan. 
a movie theater is right across the street. And then right up the street, you have like, um, was it the, it's not Guinness World Records. Oh my goodness. I'm going to, I'm murdering all the names here, but it's like crazy outrageous things, right? In that place. And it's literally up the street, right on off of Hollywood Boulevard. Check this out. Then you also have the Angeles National Forest, you guys. You can go hiking. You can go, um, and even if it's not the National Forest, like we have Kittatown Park. We have um, Chevy Hills Park. There's all these awesome, cool parks um, where you can go hiking and you can have a new experience. Maybe even go camp. Go camping. Come on. Have you, ever, have you guys ever been camping? Yeah. Come on. Camping is good. Okay, how about Universal Studios? Yes. <laughs> awesome. And even if you don't go into the actual like amusement park, um, the boardwalk is so cool. I actually went indoor skydiving. Have you ever been indoor skydiving? Oh my goodness, you gotta go. I'm telling you, on spring break, you're gonna have all these cool activities to do, right? And you don't even have to spend a whole lot of money. Some of those museums, they're like, just like under 20 bucks right? So do not, not go anywhere because you're like, oh, I don't have anywhere to go. You know, it's COVID and um, hmm, gas is expensive. Don't you, don't you say that you better drive. It, like it's going to be like 15 or 20 minutes. Literally. It's not far from you, right? Why? A lot of these places you can take the Metro trains because, ah, yes. older because they're tourist attractions. Yes, absolutely. You can absolutely take the train. Yes. Um, Miss Tracy, you are so right. The bus, the train will get you straight there. You don't have to worry about parking. Come through. I'm telling you. Echo Park Lake. Okay. One thing I do know, they have duck swans there. No. Swan boats. I said that wrong. They have swan boats there. So you can get in the swan boat and pedal with your friends. You can also do it in Long Beach. You could also do it in Van Nuys. And it's so much fun. The one in Van Nuys is a bigger lake. So much fun. And it's like, like really minimal. And you can have fun with your family. Actually, all your whole family, like six people could fit on a swan boat and you could pedal your way and just enjoy the relaxation, fountains, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Oops, 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 oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Back, back, back. That's telling us we need to go swimming. <laughs> Oh, wait, <laughs> hold on. That means we need to go. We're getting ready for summer. All right, I'm gonna share a couple more, you guys. Oh. And then we're gonna get started. Who's ready for summer? Look, me too, me too. I am, I'm, 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 I'm about to walk into seventh grade with perfect abs, about to be looking, about to be looking ripped, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome d2 yes absolutely we got warner brothers studio oh, you guys okay. oh. the wb wb we got all this awesome um we also got the la brea tar pits and museum have you guys ever been there oh my goodness and right next to it okay hold on let me see Logma is right next to this one um, the Science Center, the Natural History Museum. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a Rose Garden over there as well. Um, there's South, um, uh, South Central Botanical Gardens or South Coast Botanical Gardens. There's the Huntington Botanical Gardens. Uh, so many awesome and cool places. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. Disregard all of our summer, our summer, The Korean Bell of Friendship. That's another one that's in Long Beach. <laughs> Miss Trace, that's you. <laughs> I took my wedding pictures there. Oh, see, yes. Beautiful mm -hmm. wedding location as well. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Oh, this is the Huntington, you guys. The Huntington. This will this be my last one. The Huntington is awesome. People are there like painting because it's so picturesque. Okay, you guys, that's a new word to add to your vocabulary. Picturesque. Picturesque means like, it's like you're taking a photo, but it's live. Like these are the actual plants. These are the actual trees, the actual flowers, the actual everything, right? Um, and it's beautiful there, beautiful gardens. And um, 
And I would say this is a great place to go. They have Japanese, they have Chinese gardens there. They have um, a rose garden there. They actually have a museum there too. Um, it's just a really good day, a really good day to go. And so take a good day, go experience it. It will be phenomenal. So I want just to highlight- If you go back to like number 10 or 13. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. You said go back to number 10 or 13. It's like 10 or 11. Go to the back one. They have flowers. <laughs> you said go back to 10. Which one was, what was the name of the place? Number yeah. 11 was Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, Warner, that's what it was. The Warner yeah. Brothers Studios. Yeah. That's what and number want. 10 was um, the Venice. Oh, you guys, the Venice Canals. So and when you go to like Venice Beach. Yeah, there. Oh, there's that's canals UK. That you, Huh? <laughs> that's just GTA. Say? It's it's the canals, and, and GTA is like a place that's exactly like this. Whoa! And, and, it, and it, like in GTA, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one scale of Los Angeles. Wow! Yeah, wow. it's it's actually kind of funny though. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> this is it's on your game. Is the African American History Museum still open? That you know what? That's a great question. We can look that up. Ms. Marissa, can we look that I'm up? Let's take a look at yeah. Let's check that out. Okay, I'll take a look. The Venice Canals are really great. Just like in Belmont Shores, they have Little Italy. And literally, you guys, you can get on a gondola. Do you guys know what a gondola is? Mom, look. Yeah, gondola. You know what a the, gondola is? The gondola. Look, D2, I see your, your jalapeno uh, fan. <laughs> you can get on a gondola. And literally the man, he's like, mom, no. okay, he's not singing like that, but he's singing in Italian. And it's so like beautiful. It's at sunset. You can do it like if it's for a couple, you can do it for your family. I did it with a group of friends and literally they're pushing the boat and you're going through the canals just like this in Venice. Um, and they, um, you can bring snacks and all that kind of stuff. Oh, 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 oh so what I did do in uh, Italy? Yes, that's exactly what they do in Italy. But in Belmont Shores, when you're riding through the canals, all the homes there, they're like million dollar homes. And you're you're sailing through the canal. And when you get to a little to a little tunnel, the guy that's your um that's your that's pushing your gondola, he said he sings, Oh the bello, do, 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 do. And he sings in Italian because you're in little Italy. So it's like you get transported, but we're right here in like LA. So Belmont Shores. Wait, how much Gondola. was those houses again? What'd you say? How much was those houses again? Million dollar homes. Why are they a million dollars when there's when there's most of the time gonna be a man singing very probably very loudly right like right there? So like why is it that wow? Like like it should it should be at least like a hundred thousand maybe. Well, remember these million dollar homes, they have boats that open out onto the canal. So okay. literally hey, people have their own boats and they can like sail on the canal and go out into the ocean and come back and like walk into their house. So no wonder why they're a million dollars. That's why they're million dollar homes, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna save up and buy that. Come on, you can absolutely do it. You can absolutely yeah, do it. it, now it, it, it you know there's something called gosh? Ah, that's what it is. Like, gosh, it's like gondas or whatever. Oh, but, gondolas. No, not gondas, but, but, like, but it's a thing where you get free money and you don't have to pay it back. Oh, grants. Yeah, grants. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. You want to get a grant to live in a home in Belmont Shores on the canal? Well, well, well if, I, if I search up a grant website and then try to get a grant for, that fits my recommendation to get a million dollars, there's going to be two things. First, I'm going to buy my mom that home so she can live there. Come and on. I'm going to go to college. Come on. That's all, that sounds like a great plan to me. And you'll be able to buy your own home because you'll have a great college education with lots of resources and financial benefits. Well, well, well I, plan to be a, I plan to be a veterinarian. That's awesome. And, 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 and you know what I really is I became a veterinarian? Because I like dogs and cats. That's awesome. And turtles. That's awesome. Especially turtles. All the turtles will be mine. The turtles need you. Natalie, I see your hand. Go for it. I 
I went to Universal Studios two times already. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. Universal Studios is fun and they have new rides. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, me and my me and my friend and his mom are gonna go to Universal Studios. Well, it was for his birthday, but his mom and I got surgery, so we couldn't yeah. go. But 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 I really hope they didn't go so that we can all go for spring break. Yeah. We'll all be out. We'll be able to just, you know, chill, go to Universal. Mm-hmm. And then, and then literally the next day have a the next day have a sleepover, and then um, fun. I'm telling you. So your spring break should be fun overload. <laughs> Miss Marissa, I see you have the. So it looks like it's open. Yeah. So I'm not sure which one in particular that you are looking for, but I see yeah. that the one in Exposition Park is yeah. open. And it's closes at five, but the one in Baldwin Hills is temporarily closed. Oh, I'm not quite sure where this one is at, oh, but this oh, one you is know what? Yeah, so the one she's talking about is the California, the first one. So Miss Tracy, it is open, the California African American Museum, because the one in Baldwin Hills that's in the current, that's in the the Baldwin Plaza. Um, so that one's closed, but the California the African American Museum is open. looks like we're going to be going to some museums and checking out some theme parks and having some good time at some fun places all right y'all so we are going to get started with our cooking and um uh we're going to get rocking with our burgers and so the first thing i want us to do is um so who is making their stuffed burger versus who's making a veggie, a black bean burger? We're, we're doing both, 50-50. Come on, 50-50. And I'm glad that you're doing both because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do both too. And you guys, um, I was speaking with, um, I was actually speaking with a friend today. Okay, so and she was saying, as you get older, your body changes. And mm. so every day, it's good for you not to eat meat every day you want to have some days that you eat meat especially if you're a meat eater if you have some days that you eat meat and other days where you eat more vegetables right and um and less steak and pork and beef and that is like red meat yeah. because you want to make sure that your arteries are open as you get older your body changes so how you eat now as you're young it's gonna be different when you get older. So you wanna make sure you're having a balanced diet. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you're eating plant-based stuff. And so you wanna make sure you're eating actual live food, okay? And, um, and I always like to um, share with you all, cause I know there's like substitutions and that, that kind of stuff, which is okay. But really in our sessions here, we wanna, I wanna show you all how to use what you, the fresh vegetables and for it to truly be vegan, vegetarian, and still tastes really, really good. So all the spices that we're using today are um, going to be the same as the burger. But when we do the veggie, the black bean burger, we're just using mushrooms and the black beans. Okay. All the spices and are still going to be the same. It's, it's, excuse me, a miscut yeah. stuff. Yes. Um, what's it called? Like, like I, I don't like pork. Wait, wait, it's steak, pork, and what else? Beef. Oh, so steak, Beef. pork, beef okay so like okay. your red your red meat okay so so i don't really like steak and pork that much but I, really, I mean i don't like beef and pork that much but i love steak look i don't blame you i don't blame you i like my meats as well right but, but you have, to have your balance and also don't forget about chicken chicken's pretty good what you say don't forget about what chicken chicken's pretty good oh, absolutely. It's red meat, but it's white meat mm -hmm. so chicken turkey like those are a fish you know, those are all great. So you want to, so I think what I'm saying is you want to make sure you have a balanced diet, mm -hmm. um, but you want to make sure as you start getting older now, and as you start getting older, kind of get used to mixing up what your diet includes and make sure you're including more fruits and vegetables into your, your diet. Okay. All right. So right now, what I want us to do, we're going to cut half of an onion. Um, because we're going to saute our onion, we're going to saute half of the onion with 
um, our bacon. And remember with the bacon, it already has, um, it already has that fat on it as well. So we don't need to add oil to our pan. And we're gonna saute this because we're gonna stuff it into our our burger, our our ground meat 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 here. Um, if you are making your um, black bean burger, then you should have your mushrooms, and you should have your can of black beans with bread and um, and all your spices. So go ahead and put that in the blender. So. Put that in the blender and add the spices, and we're gonna start forming our our burgers. Okay, so you're making the the hamburger. These are all mushrooms. Huh? These are all mushrooms. Oh, let's see. Let's They're see mushrooms. mushrooms. First, can we see his mushrooms? Yeah, those are some really cool mushrooms. Um, D two. Sure. I, I, I'm just gonna try one raw. Okay, hold on. Let me add you here. Yeah, those are some really good mushrooms, too. Um, I, I, and, I'm just trying uh, one raw. What'd you say? I'm just trying one raw. Yeah. These are good. Yeah. yeah these are good. Hmm? All right, so you guys let's start putting it together. And so D2, so are you working on the veggie on the on the bean burger? And your mom's working on the hamburger? Which one you doing? Huh? Which one you gonna do? I'm gonna do onion. Do the onion, yeah, but I ain't gotta be involved. But which which burger are you gonna do? I'm doing a normal burger. The bean. You know what to you guys for the for the veggie burger? Turkey. You could put some onion in there because that's gonna give it extra flavor as well. Yeah, we're doing turkey. That's fine too. It could be a turkey burger, whatever kind of burger you want it to be, um, is perfect. And you all just just a disclaimer: when whenever whenever I post these recipes. Um, I want you to use what you have in your homes as well. So if we're doing like, like how we're doing this burger, you know, and like how Miss Tracy says she's going to do it, she's making hers a turkey burger, feel free to do that if that's what you have, okay? Or if you want to get what we're getting on the recipe, it's, you know, you could totally do that. So there's flexibility there. Please don't feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have exactly everything that Miss Christelle has. I can't make it. If it's like, like mozzarella cheese, but you have cheddar cheese, use the cheddar cheese. Okay, because it's cheese, right? So feel free to have flexibility there. There, and, and, and Mr. Stowe, mm -hmm. instead of using jalapeno peppers, which we do have, we're using yeah. the Sagnano peppers from yes, our that's totally fine. Yes, because it's still a chili pepper. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, and, and, and they're spicier, so like you know, yeah, they are spicy. spicier, the better. Yes, <laughs> all okay. right, so. Um, so let's go for it. Hey, Miss Judy, I see you there. Yes, um, I, I have problems getting in. I'm sorry. Pay no problem. You're okay. You are here. I don't care. So what did I do? What did I do? So what we're doing, so um, we have two burgers. So um, are you making your hamburger or are you making the black bean burger? We have some people who are doing The hamburger. Both. The hamburger. Which one? Hamburger. Wonderful. Okay, so for your hamburger, make sure you add all the seasonings um, into your, your burger here. And um, you're going to chop an onion. And we're also going to chop, um, cut up our bacon because we're going to saute them in the pan. And then we're going to start making our burger. We're going to start stuffing and um, making our burgers. Um, yeah, making our burgers. If you are doing the black bean burger, you're putting mushrooms and the black beans into the blender, um, along with some of these same onions and those same spices that we put in the burger, your black pepper, salt. You could put some splash of that cayenne pepper, garlic powder. So put your spices in there. Make it spice it up. Okay. We're making it, we're making it yummy okay. and tasty, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So saute onions and your bacon. 
the and fat you know, from your bacon is what's gonna so start with frying your bacon first and let that the oil come out and then we're gonna add the onions Let's see, I think Danielle gave me the Ari. All right, so I just turned the fire on under my um, under my frying pan, and I'm using a different cutting board for my meat here. So when you're using meat, make sure that you use a different cutting board because um, remember we do not want cross contamination. Okay. And I don't know if I have in these cutting boards that I got I actually have them in different colors. So pink, I normally do for meat. The green, I normally do for vegetables. You know, so you can do it like that too. Hey, we have those too. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's a reminder that has to make sure um, that nothing is being crossed. And okay, so you notice how I, like I cut my onions with this knife and I'm gonna use it to cut my, um, my bacon here. But when I go back, I'm gonna put this knife after I cut this into the sink and use a different knife for the other things that we may need to cut up, okay? So once it's touch meat, you cannot um, use it with your regular food. You need to um, use another knife. No cross-contamination. All right, so I'm just cutting these in like little squares. My pan is getting hot. By the time I put them, you want your pan to get hot enough when you drop it in, it should go, cha, should sizzle. All right, you know it's ready. Oh, you cut up the bacon real small. Yeah, just like squares. Because remember, oh. the, the bacon is, um, you know, the fat is going to render out from these little strips here, and it's going to shrink down. like medium squares. Okay. Medium squares. All right, put the bacon in, let the fat start coming out, then add our onions. You need to wash your hands. Okay. Wash and you your know hands what to you guys? You know what to you guys for the um for the, for these burgers? Dirty, you need to change your shirt. Um for these burgers, we're gonna have some time that we'll put them in the um the oven. Um I saw where we could put where we put them in the oven. I saw one where you didn't necessarily have to. Um I'm gonna put mine in my oven. Um, and that will just allow them to cook all the way through. Um, and so depending on if you want to use your oven, you can, um, or if you're gonna do them on the stove, you can as well. So um, turn on your oven so it can get nice and hot and ready. Okay, I smell my pan already. Let's put it in.
you on mute. Yeah. I can't cut this big. Hmm? I'm not cutting. Do I make them into balls? Hmm? Do I make them into balls? No, not, not, that's too little. You're not making little balls. You're making hamburgers. I know. But that's not going to work like that. I know we're making hamburgers, but I'm not trying That's to too small. else there. I mean, no, we're here. But I can't hear her. You have a question? Uh, we uh, put the pepper and the garlic powder in the meat. And then do we put onions and the uh, we put the onions in it? Or do we wait or do you do, do you put the jalapenos and the onions in it? So the jalapenos we're actually gonna chop up and put in the um we're gonna saute them saute them with the onions and the bacon. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So we're gonna use to stuff our um we're gonna use that to stuff our um our burger. All right, so you guys, for those of you who are making the black bean burger. Um, we're going to put some mushrooms in here. Make sure somebody's turning the bacon over there. And we're oh. going to put the black beans. And we're going to put some, some of those things, put some of those onions in here. Can I open it? Can you mix that up, Danielle? I mean, Ariana? Mm -hmm. You mixed it up? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm mixing it up. Like this? Yeah, you mixed it up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, put it back in the bowl. Which way? Just put it in the bowl before you drop it. Just put it in there. Yeah, like what shape? You don't need a shape right now because we got to wait till we get the... Uh, the meat, uh, the bacon, and she said the uh, jalapenos and the onions okay. together. Could you peel this onion for me, please? Let that team work. Good job, Ari. Huh? I said good job. Oh, uh, well, wash your hands, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands first. That's just like three, four, five, six. So for your for your butter. For your veggie um, burger, it should be like a, um, your mixture should be almost kind of like a paste. Okay. Put in the onions. So put some onions in here. Put the jalapenos in here. 
Remember, add your seasonings into the, the veggie burger, all those good seasonings. It's going to make it taste great. Oh, the veggie burger. Mm -hmm. for, your, for your stuffed burger, you should be sauteing your onions with the jalapeno, with mm -hmm. the... With the onions and the mushrooms. I put the, I brought some mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. I brought some mushrooms to put in that stuff. Jalapenos and onions. I thought I'd try it that way. But the mushrooms are good, right? Yeah. Well, you, you need to add it to the... Um, if you want to add... um, If you want to add mushrooms into your... Your uh -huh. your actual burger, you can. Okay. That's not gonna hurt at all. Uh, all right. If you're, gonna make, if you're gonna make the veggie burger, you can make the veggie burger just alone, or you can absolutely add mushrooms to your burger. Just add mushrooms. Yeah, sure. Um, for the mushroom, if you're gonna add them to the for, to the actual burger, you need to cut them small. So chop them and add them into the ground meat. Oh, oh! When you making a veggie burger or making the ground beef burger? If you're making the, if you are making the, if you are making the veggie burger, you can add the mushrooms in here, or if you're doing the. The other, ground beef. the ground yeah. beef, then you would need to chop up your, you need to chop, chop up your, your mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. So if you're going to, if you want to add the mushrooms into the burger, then you need to chop them up, you know, so they're small, small bits like the burger size, and then just add them into your, your, um, add them into the mixture there. Add them into the mixture. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to uh, get some mushrooms out of the refrigerator and add them to the mixture. I don't know about you, but I'm smelling my good bacon, y'all. <laughs> Me too. Mm-hmm, that bacon smells great. Are you cooking the bacon now? Right, so my bacon, my onions, my jalapenos are all in there. Because remember, the bacon should have, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you, show you it in a minute. Um, okay. But your, your, the fat from your bacon should be rendering, meaning okay. the fat coming out, that same oil, that same fat from the bacon is what you're using to fry the onions. Okay. And then add the jalapenos in there too. All right. Jalapenos with the seed or take the seed out? Do you want it to be spicy? Now, I think some of them won't, don't want it too spicy. Okay, no I, problem. I'm the so then take the seeds out. Make a, take the seeds out? If you don't want it to be as spicy. Okay. All right. Very good. Hey, how's everybody coming along? Good. I'll have to cut up these mushrooms. Okay. Once I'm done with this. Oh, let's clean this up. Miss Brenda, you doing okay? Yes, we are seeing and cooking. All right. Some sauce. I'll have you cut these up. In this? No, because they'd probably be crying. No. Okay. Just cut these up. And then go like no, this. No, I'll cry. That's okay. Just do these. Just do the mushrooms. All righty. No, 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 no. Just work on the mushrooms because that don't take longer. I can. I'll... All right. So let's blend this. Yeah. 
You guys, this is what my 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 bacon is looking like. Oh, this up there, Miss Mercy. All right, so my bacon, my onions. So you see how your bacon is like brown and crispy, right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh there, there we go, kind of. So your bacon, your onions, jalapeno, crispy. This is gonna be our filling, okay? Look, some of the spices got in my, my nose making me sneeze. For the mushroom, you guys want it to be like a paste. If you have a food processor or your blender. I noticed for my blender here, I needed to add some, um, a little bit of liquid. So add some and you want to get the texture. You want it to kind of be dry, making it to the burger. Excuse me, Miss Cristel. Do uh, uh do we have to put some bread in our veggie burgers? Yes, you do. Come on, D two. Okay, look. Let me look at mine. Cause that's gonna help. Can have that dry. All right, so we're going to start um, putting our burgers together. So if you guys, um, how many of you have already 
your um, your your mixture is ready. Your onions are already sauteed. Yeah. Oh shit. So if you're, let me know, give me a, give me a holla. Let me know if you're, is your burger, is your mixture ready? Is your burger for our veggie burger people? Is that ready? If you're, um, If it is ready, let's go ahead and start putting it together because we got to get it on the stove. Oh, All right, so for our veggie burger, we have this um, mixture here. I'm a little thicker than this. You know, as you're cooking, you find certain things that you're like, eh. So we're gonna form this into a patty, okay? For my hamburger people, you're gonna make it into a, into a patty, okay? So if you want to use your hands, you can. If you wanna use gloves, you can. Um, the most important thing is that you wash your hands um, after putting these together. Okay, let me get my mixture from the middle. So this is for the middle. Miss Marissa, do you guys see me okay? Yeah, we see me. You can see me okay too? Yes. Okay, my screen just went blank. Uh, I can't see you that well because you keep going behind your back wall. Ah, okay. All righty, so let's go ahead and put these burgers together. And um, what we want to do, okay. using my pink board, what we want to do is make, we want to make a circle. We want to make a circle with our, our, um, I kind of want to make a circle with the hole. Make it look a little hole there in the middle. Okay, if your meat feels a little wet, like mine feels a little wet. So I wanna add, hmm. All right, so you guys, this is what I'm improvising, right? You see how we have those panko breadcrumbs? 
or if you have any other kind of breadcrumbs, we're gonna add a little bit to it. We're gonna help to take out some of the dryness. Add that back in. Remember, I'm not touching anything else because I have the meat on this ham. Excuse me, is that veggie burgers or normal meat? This one's the, the actual hamburger. Okay, so 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 we put the bread cups on there, then we uh, stuff it. No, I only add breadcrumbs in here because my my meat mixture felt really wet. So <laughs> that will fun. to add some. So if your meat for your hamburger feels wet, or even if your veggie burger feels a little wet, add some breadcrumbs. Add some of the same panko breadcrumbs that we got for the onion rings. I'm gonna toss a little bit in here. Okay. okay. All right, so this is us improvising, right? Based on when you're cooking, whatever you need. Yes. Okay, so we wanna make like a circle, make a little hole in the middle. And I have my stuff mixed right here, right? My bacon, my onions. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the middle. Grandma, look how many mushrooms there are. You guys throwing away my garden stuff. So put it in the middle. And then you want to kind of like wrap it around. Where's your cheese? Oh, the cheese. Yes, put the cheese. Oh. <laughs> Right. Is that ground beef or is that uh, breadcrumbs and beans? This is ground beef. Oh, and you add the uh, bacon, the onions, and the... Um... You're going to put some cheese in here too. Oh, you're going to put cheese in it? And yes, you can put... Okay. All right. Are we making the onion? onion? Okay. He's right here. And the thing is, you guys, we're gonna fold this meat around the filling. Okay. Fold it around. Not much energy. Mm -hmm. Not much. What you do? A little more. What can I do? Cut the cheese? No, no, no. I'll put that in the, mm. this in a uh, package. Where? I don't know. Well, she had a package. Do you have a package? Oh. All right. You see how I'm having a little hole right here? So you guys add some more meat. This right way. Here. Can I this, cut this? No, just leave it on. Move it around. I don't like working a little bit. Okay. Have a burger that's stuffed in there with all that goodness. Okay. All right. So I've got Let's one burger. Cut some of this. Huh? Get a knife and cut. Cut what? Help me with the onions. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Christelle, this mozzarella cheese is ooey gooey, sticky wicky cheese. What did you say? It's what? <laughs> I said this mozzarella cheese is ooey gooey, sticky, icky mozzarella cheese. Ooh, that means it's going to be good. Sticky, sticky icky, gooey cheese. No, we're going to leave that for the other half. Mm -hmm. I know some of the other things too. She's here. Oh, yeah. So. So push it, so press it in the middle. Slice it. Grab some of that filling, put it in there. Form it, form it around. Press it in, form it around the burger. Push the burger around it. So make sure you have enough so it can come over your filling. 
okay? Yeah, like, you just trying. You want to add? Will. Yeah, well, move your hand. You got to move. You, keep, you don't put your hand like that. Don't do that. Around, make it a nice little circle here. Nice little patty. And go to the next one. Don't put your hand where my knife is now. We're helping each other. Hey, Miss Marissa, can you help us there, please? Yeah, Miss Krista, I can help you. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, put your knife down and uh, work on the uh, um, belt, uh, work on this. Okay, press it in the middle. Filling. And for your veg, if you're doing this, if you're doing your veggie burger, you're just rolling it into circles. Chop. Okay, I'm going to do one more. In the middle, make that little, that little valley. Yes. Ellen. All right, you guys, we got to get cooking. We got to get it cooking. Let's get it on the stove. So go ahead and add your burgers into your frying pan or your saute pan so that that can get going. And you're going to let it, we're going to let it cook on both sides for about about 10 to 15 minutes on each, nah, probably about eight minutes on each side, depending on how thick you made your burgers. Okay, and you're gonna probably turn it a couple times, but initially you wanna let it sit for a minute on one side and then turn it over. All right, so with me doing this, make sure you wash your hands before you touch your frying pan. Wash your hands really good. Soap and water, soap and water. All right, these burgers look great. Woo, okay, wash your hands.
All right, you guys, that same pan that we use for the, um, that same pan that we use for the onions, we're gonna put our burgers in there. So let's go ahead and drop them in. I'm gonna move my view over to the stove. Oh, this is a good time for us to get our other pot um, with the oil for the onion rings. So we're gonna chop our onion rings and we're going to um, doo -doo -doo, make our batter. So, okay, let's, let's put this on first and then we'll start chopping our onions. So come on, teamwork, y'all. <laughs> we got a couple more to come. Our time is counting down. Rah! Okay, so you guys, for our onion. Oh, no. It in big slices. Like big, and we want um, some big onion rings. All right, if you guys are working as a team, someone can actually start getting the, actually, someone could start, we're gonna put together the batter and then we're gonna get our oil going. All right, so for your onion rings, want to chop, I want to have full cool circles here. So I'm going to cut 
So ultimately you want to be able to go like this and take them, take them out like that. All right, so you should have rings like that. Okay. Slide them out. All right, so we're going to start putting together our batter. So you're going to need your flour, cornstarch, the baking powder. Cayenne pepper. You can kind of use the ones that are like a full circle. I'm gonna still use these ones too. So we have all these wonderful rings here. You guys make sure someone's checking on the burgers. Okay, let's make our mixture. I'm sorry, it's just the the cornstarch. So we're gonna put a quarter cup of cornstarch. A quarter of a cup is like this much. Guys, I just flipped my burgers. So check on them. They should be getting brown and crispy. Level off your How long is the bacon cook for? So it's brown. It's not brown. The burger? It's not brown. No, the um bacon. Right. Yeah, bacon should be. Bacon should be brown and the fat on the burger on the bacon should be 
um, should be kind of like melted out. Oh, okay. Melted out. Three fourths of a cup of flour. It's not brown yet. I don't do that. I don't do that. So if this is yeah. one fourth of a cup and we need three fourths of a cup, how many yeah. cups do we need, you guys? From sticking. Okay, you gonna hear some math for you. If we need three fourths of a cup, this is one fourth. How many cups of flour do we need? How many of these do we need? Three. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. A three fourths. So we need to fill this up. This is this is the batter. Depending on how many onion rings you're doing, if you're doing more onion rings, then you can add a little bit more to this mixture. Um, let's add some cayenne pepper in here. We're gonna spice up our mixture. We're also gonna put some. Put some salt. Um, add some black pepper, garlic powder. Um, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Cayenne pepper and salt. Okay, and then we're gonna pour some cold water in here as well. And if you have a whisk or a fork, let's get all together. It'd be almost kind of like a, it's um, kind of like a pancake consistency, but not too, we don't want it to be too, too thick. And then add the cold water. I'm going to let it cook, okay? Oh. I'm going to let it cook. Okay, let it cook. Well, I don't want it to stick and burn, okay? Okay. So, you guys gradually pour in the water. Okay. All right, we're going to go with the heat. Mm hmm? Nothing. How's the onion rings going? Okay. We're going to get another bowl. Find another bowl so I can make sure. Find the mixture. Okay. No bowl. You know what a bowl is? No big bowl for mixing. I don't see no big bowl. Okay, we'll look over here. Miss Christelle. Yes. Jasmine finished. You want to see? Oh, the. Let's see what she's finished. Okay. It's a bowl down here. Right here. Ooh, Jasmine, come through. Look at that plate. Beautiful. Oh, that is mm. nice. That, oh, woo. That, oh. Uh, okay, so I need you to take a picture. Okay, Jasmine, you've got to take a picture. Can we show that again? Can you show that again? Wow. Oh I, my I, I have some nice nice so nice. Yes. Yes. So nice. So good. Okay. That looks so amazing. Okay, that's for daddy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you see how we have our batter here? Do a plate with your panko breadcrumbs, you guys. Panko breadcrumbs. Okay. Stop playing with me. I am. Yeah, you are. Just leave it alone. Once you dip, <laughs> once you, you dip your um. Touch the and then touch both.
Once you dip your onions over here, drop them in. Drop them in, give them a spin. And then put them in the bread in the panko breadcrumbs. Let them kind of drip off a little bit. You guys, I had some onion rings from, from a place, I won't say where. Um, and the batter was really, really thick. And I was like, okay, I don't want my bread, I don't want my onion rings to have that thick of a batter. Okay, so add them in like this, give them a shake and just sprinkle the panko on top. And then we're gonna get, get, get your oil ready, you guys, and then drop them in. You wanna make sure your oil is hot and test your oil before you put it in, okay? Make sure all your panko is covering and your rings really well. All right, let me get mine going. All right, you guys. Are we coming. How are you guys are coming? The burger should be cooking. Oh, and just so you guys know too, um, if you are in ninth grade to 12th grade, tonight we have college admissions process. And so that's for our ninth through 12th graders. So join in you guys. Um, don't miss out if you're in ninth grade to 12th grade, or if you know a ninth to 12th grader, tell them to come tonight. They just need to RSVP at wheatleycenter.org slash events. 
okay? And so they're going to be talking about financial aid. Um, not financial aid, they're going to be talking about financial literacy. So if you want to get a car, if you talking about how to build your credit. Um, so for all my ninth through 12th graders, okay? And Ms. Marissa, I know you're going to have to, um, yes. Wonderful. All right, you guys. Let me know if any of you guys are, are done with yours, let me know too. And the Peters family over there, let me know. And, yeah, let me know how everybody's liking your dish. Miss Christelle? Yes. Uh, how did you make the batter? So we added cornstarch. We put one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Quarts of a cup of flour. So cornstarch, flour, cayenne pepper, black pepper, some salt, and then whisk it together and add some water. Almost kind of like when you're making a pancake and you pour the you you pour the water in slowly. You want your batter to be see how it's it's connecting like that. That's how you know your batter is a good thickness. You don't want it to be too runny and you don't want it to be too thick. And then just dunk your, put your onion rings in there. And then have another plate with your breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs, and just cover them. The panko breadcrumbs are gonna make them super crispy. So I've got all of these guys to go put in the oil. Your oil should be also getting hot.
D2, how's it coming over there? All right, if you guys have one of these where the oil can go through, you can, you know, kind of like turn your onion rings or just kind of move them around. And you can put a paper towel on your plate. Just put that to the side real quick for it won't fall. All right, so as these are going, someone can check on this. The other person can start putting the burgers together, like um, get the bun ready, get your lettuce ready, slice your tomato. If you wanna put some more onion on there, you can, you can slice another piece of onion. Or if you still have some of your bacon, onion, and jalapeno mixture, oh, you could sprinkle some of that on top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Three, four cups of flour. All right, so these are good. These onion rings are a good color. So you want them to be brown like that.
One fourth cup of cornstarch, cayenne pepper, salt, and pepper to taste. Salt. One cup of cold water. We're a little bit over, I know we're over our time, um, but as you finish this up, um, just combine, just put all your burgers together, okay? Just like how we saw Jasmine, okay? And Dick, take a picture, you guys, okay? Hey. All right. So, okay, let me come back to this table really quick so you guys can see me. Hey, Mr. Stone, we did air fryer burgers. Oh, that's good. Sounds great. You can absolutely do your air fryer. That's totally cool. Let me know all the things. Hey, Mr. Stone, I just thought about this. If, if, if you have extra mozzarella left over, you I'll can put, put it on. Like, like the topping, you can put it on the onion piece. Uh, yeah, you can use the mozzarella and melt it a little bit more. Yeah. It's already gooey, gooey, gooey mozzarella. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and make it so that way it's a paste and you put it on, on some of your food. You mean like like a like your onion, onion rings? Sticks? Yeah, like 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 yeah on your onion rings like a like a like a cheesy bit. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. So you guys, my burgers are still. I'm like turning them on the side. Oh, but and we're the onion rings. Oh, sorry. The onion rings are ready. D two, what were you gonna say? I was, I was gonna say we're doing air fryer burgers. Good. Yeah, remember the air fryer? Oh, and they're actually done right now. But do you remember the air fryer from when we did kebabs? Uh-huh. We still have the air fryer and we're still using it. Mm. Well, 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 this is our second time using it for like cooking class, but like still we're using it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are super crunchy for the panko and it's not really thick. The batter is good. Plastic plate. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, that plate. Never mind. All okay, right, you guys. So we're going to have to go finish your okay. burger. Take a picture. Put okay. Your onion, do it. We will. Put it together with the lettuce, tomato. I'm going to toast my bread and everything. I'm not toasting any bread. Wait, but you can't really good. Ooh, presentation, presentation. Look, look, look. We got flour all over. I'm keeping quick simple. All right, you guys. Wonderful job today. We'll make an onion ring burger. And um, we'll see you for next week. Okay. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thank you. You're very welcome. See you later. How was you? Bye. That was fantastic. And join us for um Ooh, you gotta cut us off. join us for college admissions.
If you are in ninth grade, RSVP at wootencenter.org slash events for the login code. All righty. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. I see your fingers deep, too. Come on. <laughs> All right. See Miss Judy and Miss Brenda. Bye.